it's Yui. Welcome to my channel Chibi Chibi Chef Inspire Japanese Cooking. Today I'd like to show you my recent favorite breakfast, Japanese fluffy tamago sandwich. It's a long name. Tamago means egg in Japanese and because I'm gonna use dashi powder for this recipe, it'll taste quite different from western style egg sandwiches. Also, this is super easy to make since I'm gonna be using a microwave and the cook time can be less than 10 minutes. This recipe is inspired from my favorite tamago sandwich place in Tokyo and I used to go there quite often. First, crack 3 eggs into a bowl. Then add 2 tablespoons of water, 1 tablespoon of dashi powder, and 1 teaspoon of sugar. Then mix them very well, like 50 rotations. I usually use lakanto instead of sugar which is a sugar substitute and contains zero nut carbs and zero calories. But of course you can use the regular sugar as well. Then prepare a plastic container which is a good size for your bread. Then spray cooking oil or spread oil in the container. Add the egg mixture in the container and place the lid lightly. The egg is going to swell up as we cook in the microwave, so don't close the lid completely. Cook it in the microwave for 2 minutes at 600 watts. Please don't set the microwave too high. <coughs> then take it out from the microwave carefully, not to get burned. Mix it to cook it evenly. Put it back to the microwave and cook for another 2 minutes. While cooking the egg, let's make the mustard mayo sauce for the sandwich. Add 1 tablespoon of mayonnaise and 1 teaspoon of mustard in a small bowl and mix them. It's very simple, but this mustard adds a nice kick to the sandwich. Once it's cooked in the microwave, you get this fluffy beautiful egg omelette. If you see any uncooked areas, please microwave it for 20 to 30 seconds more. Then prepare the white bread. It's better to find the white bread at Asian grocery stores or bakeries because they're so soft and milky. But this time, I bought this white bread at my local American grocery store. Now let's put together the sandwich. Spread the sauce on both slices. Add the omelette in the middle. Then put the other slice of bread on the top and it's done. If you're very hungry, you can eat it now. But if you want to make a great presentation, be patient and do this next. Wrap the sandwich with a plastic wrap tightly, but not too strong, because we don't want to smash the egg and bread too much. Let it sit for at least 5 minutes or longer, as all the flavor will settle and it will be easier to cut into pieces. I wait it for 5 minutes this time and then cut all the sides of the sandwich. Be sure to wipe the knife after every cut so maintain the clean edge of the sandwich. It 
It depends on your bread size, and mine was quite small, so I cut the sandwich into 4 bite sized pieces. On first bite, the egg omelette with the bread is very soft and the dashi adds a nice mild comforting taste. But then the mustard sauce kicks in to make for a hearty breakfast sandwich. Goes great with fresh coffee or tea, so please try it. Hope you like this recipe. Thank you for watching. Mata ne!